हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ऑल ऑफ यू आई एम मिस्टर भरत शिलके असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर वर्किंग एट मराठा विद्या प्रसारक समाज आर्ट साइंस एंड कॉमर्स कॉलेज ओजरमिक नासिक टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन थर्मोग्रायोमेट्रिक एनालिसिस और शॉर्टली इट इज कॉल्ड एज टी जी ए इन ग्रायोमेट्रिक एनालिसिस नंबर ऑफ ऑपरेशन आर कैरेड आउट एंड द लास्ट ऑपरेशन इज ignition during the ignition the substance is heated at a high temperature or at a constant temperature and finally the weight of the substance is recorded so in thermogrammetric analysis the same technique is applied the substance is heated and simultaneously the weight of the substance is recorded and that is the thermogrammetric analysis now let's see the thermogrammetric analysis the components or the instrument used in thermogrammetric analysis see the definition the technique in which the weight of a substance is recorded as a function of time or temperature in an environment heated or cooled at a controlled rate is called thermogrammetry that means weight of the substance is recorded as a function of time or as a function of temperature when the substance is heated at the final stage or during the during the ignition then the weight of the substance is lost when we increase the temperature when we increase the time so when the substance weight is lost the substance weight is recorded and it is a function of time or at a function of temperature in the environment heated or cooled and it is at the control rate and that is called as thermogrammetry so that means the heat is applied thermal energy is applied in gravimetry and the weight of the substance is recorded that is called as thermogrammetric analysis so see the word thermo is attached to the gravimetry that means the heat is applied temperature is applied to the substance to the precipitate and the substance weight is lost and the weight is recorded on the balance on a specific balance and that is the thermo balance and that is the technique known as thermogrammetric analysis so in normal gravimetric analysis so do the precipitation separation washing drying and in thermogrammetry so high temperature is applied to the precipitate and removal of water or removal of some volatile matters and only the pure substance is obtained and that is known as thermogrammetric analysis see the classification of thermogrammetric analysis thermogrammetric analysis is classified into three types now see the first classification and that is known as static thermogrammetry so this is the first classification of thermogrammetric analysis and that is static thermogrammetry second one is called as quasi static thermogrammetry which is again a different than the static thermogrammetry and the last one that is called as dynamic thermogrammetry these are the three types or classification of thermogrammetry first one is static second one is quasi static and third one is called as dynamic thermogrammetry now see the first meaning of static thermogrammetry the type in which the sample weight is recorded as a function of time at a constant temperature see the definition the type in which sample weight is recorded as a function of time at a constant temperature that means during the his thermogrammetry the temperature is constant but the weight of the substance is losses and the weight is recorded by increasing the time so that means after 10 minutes after 20 minutes after 30 minutes like this but the temperature is 
constant for example the temperature is 100 degree celsius and then measure the weight of the substance after a specific time intervals 5 minutes 10 minutes 20 minutes 30 minutes like that so temperature is constant only the change in time is there and the sample weight is recorded so initially sample weight something is there and then the sample weight losses at a function of time or at a specific interval of time and but the condition is that temperature is constant that is called as static thermogrammetry so simply static thermogrammetry means the loss in weight is recorded as a function of time at a constant temperature now see the quasi static thermogrammetry the type in which the sample weight is heated to a constant weight at a series of increasing temperature the type in which the sample weight is heated to constant weight at a series of increasing temperature so in this quasi static thermogrammetry the temperature is increased to a constant weight and the sample weight is recorded that is called as quasi static thermogrammetry so simply it is different than static in static thermogrammetry temperature is constant and in quasi static thermogrammetry temperature is increased and the sample weight is heated to a constant weight that is called as quasi static thermogrammetry now see the last one and that is called as dynamic thermogrammetry the type in which the sample is heated in an environment the temperature of which is changing in a predetermined manner at a linear rate so in this dynamic thermogrammetry the substance is heated the precipitate is heated at a specific temperature in which changing in a predetermined manner that means the all conditions are initially set all the conditions are already predetermined and it is heated at that particular rate and that is called as dynamic thermogrammetry so these are the three classifications of thermogrammetry first one is static second is quasi static and third one that is called as dynamic thermogrammetry now see the next apparatus used in thermogrammetry analysis there are three basic apparatus or there are three basic components of thermogrammetry equipment see which are these three equipments or three basic components first one is called as thermobalance second one is called as furnace and third component of the apparatus for tga is called as recorder now see the one by one what is meant by thermobalance and what is the furnace and what is the function of recorder so these are the three components of the equipment which is used in tga or which is used for thermogrammetry analysis now see the first that is called as thermobalance now see the meaning of thermobalance or when we look towards the name thermobalance so thermo means heat and balance means to weigh the substance so again there is a one component which gives the heat to the substance and simultaneously takes the weight of that substance and that is known as thermobalance now see the thermobalance the precision is programmed for a linear rise of temperature and this balance is called a thermobalance so the substance is already programmed for a specific temperature which is heated at a specific temperature and during that the substance weight is recorded simultaneously that is called as thermobalance so this balance is very sensitive how much it is sensitive to 0.2 mg and also the temperature of the furnace can be measured within 1 degree celsius 
between the room temperature and 1110 degree celsius so this is about the thermo balance so thermo balance is the first component which is used in tga for the measurement of analysis of thermogrammetric curves now see the thermogrammetric curve the thermogrammetric curve means the plot of fat change versus temperature or time so when we do the analysis by using thermo balance when we measure the precipitate weight by using the thermo balance so in that thermo balance the furnace is there recorder is there and when the all components are set that equipments measure the weight of the substance by increasing the temperature that is the thermo balance so when the weight of the substance is recorded as a function of time then we can plot the graph we can plot a curve and that curve is called as thermogrammetric curve or it is also called as pyrolysis curve so what is thermogrammetric curve so the plot of weight change versus temperature so this is the weight and this is the temperature so the plot of weight change versus temperature is called as thermogrammetric curve so when we plot this curve see the curve weight this is the weight and this is the temperature x axis and y axis have two different parameters one is for temperature and another is for weight now look toward this graph so the graph initially see the constant level a to a dash and then a dash to b dash b dash to p so there are three portions so see the first portion a to a dash in the portion a to a dash no weight loss see a to a dash the constant reading is obtained so the substance does not decompose up to this temperature or it is thermally stable <coughs> so a to a dash temperature is increased but the weight is constant there is no decrease in the weight during this portion a to a dash that means the decomposition of the substance does not takes place and this temperature ti at the a dash is called as the initial temperature now see the second portion a dash to b dash in the portion a dash to b dash the weight loss with rise in temperature see this a dash to b dash that means ti to tf so the weight loss with rise in temperature so that means actual weight loss is observed during this portion a dash to b dash and the temperature is tf indicated as a tf so tf f is for final so t means temperature so tf is called as final temperature so after that no weight loss occur so this is the second portion in the thermogrammetric curve or pyrolysis curve now what is remaining which part is remaining in the pyrolysis curve yes correct the third part that is the b dash to b so in b dash to b again there is a no change in weight loss is observed so the difference between the temperature tf and ti so this is the tf tf means final temperature this is ti that is the initial temperature so difference between this tf and ti is called as reaction interval this is the reaction interval and between this temperature substance decomposition takes place so from a dash to b dash portion or from ti to tf that means initial temperature to final temperature the substance decomposition takes place so only this portion substance decomposition takes place while in other portion a dash a to a dash and b dash to b the weight loss is not observed so therefore only decomposition takes place between a dash to b dash so this is the thermogrammetric curve so what is thermogrammetric curve so it is the plot of weight change versus temperature or time and 
it is observed in thermogrammetric analysis. So, this is about the thermogrammetric analysis. So, in this video, we discuss what is mean by thermogrammetry, then we also discuss the classification static, quasi static and dynamic thermogrammetry. Then we discuss the apparatus used in thermogrammetry, which are the apparatus thermobalance, furnace, recorder and finally, the thermogrammetry curve. So, the plot of weight change versus temperature or time. So, there are three portion A to A dash, A dash to B dash, B dash to B. The actual decomposition takes place between A dash to B dash that means the temperature T i and T f. So, thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, then please do the subscribe. Thank you.